Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. So, in this video today, it shouldn't be too long I don't think, but we'll see. Basically, I'm going to be looking at myself. <laughs> I'm going to be looking at how I looked at five weeks out versus how I was looking today, eight weeks out. Tomorrow is eight weeks out. I'm filming this on Saturday the 25th of June. Tomorrow is actually eight weeks out because I'm competing on a Sunday. But besides that point, I was going to do it 10 weeks versus 10 weeks, but then I realized the footage I had from 10 weeks, uh, no, from eight, 10 weeks out last year, yes, it wasn't really good to use. The posing is very different, the light's very different. So I figured, um, why not look at myself from five weeks out when I basically just competed in the Balkan Grand Prix in figure and basically was told to move to wellness and just review my posing and my physique, my conditioning and uh, kind of go from there. One thing that is interesting to note is that I did look through a couple of my own vlogs from around 10 weeks out and a noticeable difference is that I seem to be in a lot, um, in general, I seem to be a lot better mentally. Don't get me wrong, like it is hard sometimes. The last few days have been very hard for me because of the fact that well, I'm PMSing, so, you know, being on your period sucks, or the run-up to your period sucks. Whilst prepping, being low on body fat, it even sucks more. So I don't even know if I'm going to get a period or not, but I still get the hormonal symptoms. They are still there. The joys of all of that moodiness and tiredness and fatigue and swelling and constipation and bloating, all of that still happens. So all of those joys I experience, I just don't bleed. But besides that point, um, I was yeah, I was just reviewing some of the vlogs and I noticed that I looked in my all the vlogs at 10 weeks out, I looked really drained, I looked really fatigued, I seemed very tired. Um, just in general, my energy isn't where it was. Now obviously at this time I was going through a divorce, so that probably played very heavy on my mind as well. So I'm guessing that that might have had something to do with it. But yeah, I'm just finding that like, obviously I have my the days that are more of a struggle than, some days are more of a struggle than others. Yeah, sorry, I just had to think about my English there for a second. That still happens now, but in general, I feel like this prep has gone fairly good so far. This is my fifth week. Let me double check actually. Yeah, so I've almost completed my, I'm about to start my sixth week tomorrow. Uh, no, on, on Monday, I will start my six week of dieting. So I've had five weeks. I feel like it's gone fairly smooth. I haven't had enormous amounts of hunger except for when I was PMSing. You know, sometimes I'm hungry, sometimes I have cravings, sometimes I'm on the mood to train. I do feel like I'm getting more tired during the day. Um, but I just don't feel like I look as tired. I feel like considering how lean I am and how low in body fat I am, I'm still looking fairly healthy, fairly glowy, fairly, like, I don't look so scully, if that makes sense. And you'll see in a second what I mean by that, because like at five weeks out from my last shot, I started to look a bit more just drawn, like in the face. And I feel like I'm maintaining more, um, like health in the skin, in my just general appearance. And maybe that is because I'm, I am in a better place mentally now uh, and it, I'm going through a lot less stress now than what I was before. Basically what I did is I did two comparisons. I did five weeks out last year versus eight weeks out, which is today. And I also did a comparison of 10 weeks out, just like a couple of weeks ago versus now, just to kind of see the difference. Not an awful lot has changed in two weeks because like it's only two weeks and it's not like I have a lot of body fat to lose, but there are some changes. So. Yeah, let's just get into it and um, I'll talk you through my observations and we'll go from there. I mean, first of all, what is this pose? This, I had never done well on this posing, guys, really, except for maybe like dicking around a little bit for fun, but I'd never done well on this posing. So my front pose is not where it should be um, compared to what you see on the right here. So looking at these pictures, I'm gonna say my- Oh my gosh, Rosie, baby girl. Baby, 
What did you do to it, baby girl? Oh, it wasn't so painful yesterday. It wasn't like this. What did you do? Did you play with your sister when I was born? Mm, did you play with your sister? Is that what it is? Oh my gosh. So the first thing that I can see is that actually my body fat seems to be fairly similar if I look at the definition in my abs. I might even be a little bit leaner if now um, at eight weeks out as opposed to five weeks out just because I have a lot of vascularity running through my stomach, which you can kind of see here. Um, obviously another thing that I noticed that my, my quads have definitely grown. Uh, there is more definition through my quads. I've got a bit more capping through my shoulders as well. The pose is kind of the same but slightly different. Ow. It is a bit more, it's definitely more wellness. Um, the way it should be where like you can see the quad, you can see the glute. My midsection could use some work but I think guys I'm PMSing so it's like difficult to try and suck my gut in. Basically I have a lot, of, I'm experiencing a lot of bloat and um, yeah, like, you know, it's, you know what it's like when you're PMSing. Life goes up and it goes down. Besides that, my posing is obviously a lot more fluid. I don't know, this pose on the right, left, I don't know what the hell that is. What am I doing there, Rosie? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, baby girl. No. But, yeah, that's clearly not a wellness pose at all. Life goes up and it goes down. Here we go with the side pose. So if I look at these side by side, I they look fairly similar, but that's partially because of the light. I'm gonna say that I do appear to have more development through the glute and fullness through the leg in general. I feel like, yeah, my leg is definitely looking a lot more fuller on the right side compared to the left. And even my calves are looking a little bit bigger, to be honest. What was that transition? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, here we can really see a difference. There is a lot more definition through the back of my legs. My calves have a lot more definition. They're much leaner. Um, the cuts in my hamstrings are more defined. They're bigger. My hamstrings in general have grown. I've got more of a sweep from the front. And uh, yeah, my glutes are looking fuller too. I have more of a teardrop, which is what they're looking for. So the teardrop is this here. This is, ah, Rosie, God for hond. The teardrop here is a lot more pronounced. Whereas here, I don't really have it, a little bit, but here you can see it's coming down very low. Even my transition from walking away is a lot more smoother. Here you can really see that teardrop coming through nicely. Baby girl, can you sit still please? Funny. Like uh, the calves are more defined. The, yeah, in general, like. The walk is smoother. Now here you can really see the difference um, a lot better. Here you can really, in this light, Ale Rosie, please. In this light, you can, to, in my opinion, you can really tell that I have made some significant muscle gains. Uh, just my, the back of my legs are a lot fuller. I have much more of a teardrop. Uh, the hamstrings are more pronounced. I'm leaner actually here on the right than what I am on the left. Just in general, I look more wellness. My physique is a lot more asymmetrical, as in like I'm not as, I'm more developed through the lower body as opposed to the upper body, whereas on the left hand side, I feel like I'm more balanced in my physique, which is obviously what is necessary for a uh, figure. And even here, the transitions are smoother, I'm a lot more flowy, I'm a, more, a lot more elegant. The pose is a lot nicer. Again, my stomach can do so new, can do with some work. I need to suck it in more. I'll be honest. Like my abdominal control, it exists, but I'm very, I'm not very. 
on stage I re remember it, but when I'm practicing posing I'm very bad at remembering to do it, which is not good, but at the moment I just really do struggle sucking in my gut because of the fact that I just feel bloated and PMSy. But this wellness, this pose is far more uh, nice because this front pose on the right is a lot better because as you can tell, first of all the shoulders are straight as opposed to tilted down, you want it to be straight. Uh, the hand is a lot more, uh, the hand doesn't cover the glute as much, the glute pops a lot more on the right hand side, you can see it from the front, you can see the glute, you can see the quad sweep, just in general the whole pose is a lot more wellness and a lot more, yeah it's a lot better, the only thing is I need to suck my gut in more basically. <laughs> Got the leg flicks. I mean, here you can tell like quite how. If, if I'll reverse in a second, so you can see, but you you can really see like how lean I am actually through my midsection. This uh, this side pose is actually pretty good, I think. This is quite a nice side pose for me. I've got vascularity running through my calves here on the right hand side. Again, I could do a sucking in the gut a little bit more. Don't worry, I don't look moody on stage. It's just my concentration phase. got much bigger quads as well like when I walk away when I'm walking away here you can really see that fucking quad meat and I've obviously been trying to grow it right and now we just do a comparison of two weeks ago versus now which is not gonna be crazy but So, I mean, the, I'm posing much better on the left hand side than the right hand side, but I am leaner on the right hand side. Um, I can tell just through my midsection. So here again you can see that uh, I have a bit more definition on the right hand side compared to the left hand side. You can see here by the quad. And the teardrop here coming through, which isn't quite as defined here. I have a little bit of ab lines here, but here you can really see that I've got quite a lot of vascularity. This pose is slightly better because I've got more of a shelf um, with the glute, which is what you want. And, you know, just slightly, slightly leaner, you can see my serratus coming through a bit more here. Just a little bit more capping through the shoulders. I think here you can see as well that I'm a little bit leaner. I mean, I'm stand, the pose is slightly different, I'm standing slightly wider here. I prefer this pose because it makes my quads look a bit better. Um, but you can see here there's just slightly more definition through the hamstrings, especially the inner part of the hamstrings compared to here. And again here, I think here I just need to suck my guts in a bit more, but again, I'm just slightly leaner because I can see my midsection, uh, this is a little bit more definition. And just a few more lines in the quads, nothing super significant, which it wouldn't be, because it's only been two weeks, but significant enough to notice a slight difference. So there you go guys, that is my um, eight week comparison, I'm actually quite surprised that I look at eight weeks out, I look basically better than I did at five weeks out in my opinion. Some of that is posing maybe light, but I think I just feel like I look leaner and fuller and more muscular, which is obviously the goal. I take performance answer not for a reason, but it's good. It's still good to see that uh, what I have been taking has been working. And uh, yeah, I'll probably do one of these again, maybe in another, maybe three to four weeks, something like that, maybe do it at like four weeks out. Compare it to like what I look like at stage day, uh, just to get a better understanding. But yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy this, something a little bit different, just a quick one. But yeah, it's kind of good to reflect back on the, the progress you've made, I suppose. Could be better, always, could be worse. Pretty happy with how I'm looking. Um, I'll show you, like, I'll show you what I was looking like in the gym this morning, after the sauna in different light. 
because um, like it's not always representative. So this is like post sauna. So you can see I'm looking pretty down lean. And yeah, I like, don't excuse the bum hole, but I do need to check basically to see how my legs are coming in. So there you go. That is in like natty light, if you like. Pretty fucking happy with that, I'm not gonna lie. So, on that note, insert a, uh, a leopard emoji because of the leopard print that I'm wearing. Comment, like, subscribe, dislike the video if you've disliked it. Let me know down below why. What do you think? Do you think my progress is, do you, would you have, did you expect more? Did you expect less? Are you, is it what you expected? In my head, I'll be honest, I did expect more. Um, but to be honest, the real true before and afters will not be known until I stand on stage. What I do know is that this morning I was 73 kilos. I have been 73 kilos for a few days now. Um, PMS training, uh, it's kind of where it's been sitting. So realistically, I think I'm maybe like 72 and a half, taking, not taking into consideration training, high carb days and PMS. Um, I think in this five weeks out, I was probably around maybe 71 and a half because I competed at 71 kilos at the Balkan Grand Prix. So I look like I'm, I think I'm about a kilo heavier, but leaner, which is ideal. That basically means I made gains. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to go now, hold the doggies and then have a nap <laughs> and then edit this so you can get to see it tonight. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye.